Would you say a good girl's guide to mother is a must watch for fans of mystery and thrillers? Of course not. <laughs> Why? Just nope. I agree. It's not being Jordy. No. It's not something that hooked me while I was watching it. So I will not say this adaptation is a good one or any. If you like mystery or thriller, go for something else. Even people that don't like hardcore, I don't think I will recommend this series. There's some, something very lackadaisical about this series that I don't like. That even when the plot twist came, it was just like a shrug. Like, right? okay, there's something about this series that did not just hook me. So this is an adaptation of Holly Jackson's book first book in her trilogy and this one is based on the book of the same name a good girl's guide to mother and follows peep fits a moby high school student who decided to do her project on a case that shook her town five years ago the disappearance of andy bell also the suicide of andy's boyfriend sal as people wondering okay this case might not be as close as everyone else thinks in this town so she wants to uncover the mystery Usually, I enjoy this sort of stories because it's like a who done it. The killer is still out there, so I want to figure out this case. I'm thankful that I read the book before the series came out. The book is not my favorite thing, and the story is just okay for me. Then imagine this series happening, and they are just in a hurry. There's no depth to the story; it's just happening so fast, and there's like a million of these kind of stories. And that's not a problem, actually. If you can make it yours. When I go to the last episode, when I go to the plot twist, when they were going that, okay, no, this is not just the end, more to come. I was not even intrigued. I was also smiling and said, okay, there are like a million thriller books that, that have exactly this plot. However, I just wish that they made it more thrilling for us. Maybe from the facial expressions, because they didn't have to say a lot. Mama, one thing I didn't like about this series is that they were just really saying a lot of things. Yeah. From facial expression, we're supposed to know some small, small things, but they want to show us through facial expression that, like, can you see this? Can you see this? You know? But at the beginning, I was just so tired because they were so bent on showing us that, oh, this girl, Peep, she's such a good girl. Can you tell? Can you see? Can you hear what we're telling you right now that this girl is a good girl? So, yes, just like the title, this is a good girl, this is a good girl. Then there was a time when she now wanted to rebel against her parents because, oh, now I know some kind of things and I've been in some uncomfortable situation. So, oh my God, ah, oh, Peep is now rebelling, you know, pointing us in the direction of what is to happen instead of just trusting us and making us thrilled by the entire thing. Even when the entire plus later on about the sister came on, I said, okay. Makes sense because they already nudged us to it so in a way. Yeah, from the first episode. Even even her best friend's father, they already nudged us to it because when they show the camera, you're supposed to be there with like, oh my god, I don't tell me I didn't. Even, even this. if you're showing it, like you are supposed yes, to notice, but they made it deliberate. Yes. Even the tone of the story, from reading the book, I thought it was a bit serious, although it's a YA. This there's this yeah. tension with no the tension. this thing, but uh, watching the series, I did not feel any tension. Then um, let's talk about the lead character now, Peep. Great casting. But watching the series, it was kind of distracting. Her accent was kind of distracting for me. Like, like, okay, why did you not pick a British actress to play this character? Because her own accent felt a bit structured. Like, you are trying to get something. I don't think the acting was bad necessarily, but I feel like they had to make do what they had. And there was no character development. Actually, our relationship with Ravi, there was no character depth. There's no character development. Although they showed us in the beginning that people were throwing things at their house and other things. But in the book, you could really see that Ravi, you really feel his yeah, pain he's going through something really dark but they're just saying it so like you know you're just saying it people. we cannot feel it with you like what's the point of making it a series if yeah. you be in a hurry to even do the basic things yeah. well, i'm not saying to follow the book cover to cover just make us feel something i like when you do something and you make me feel something i didn't like the characters honestly i totally agree dude. when you've heard this title when you're thinking something else i think that title i don't think it suits the book or the series a good girl's guide to mother i was like for you something else honestly yeah first of all if i speak on the title i think that the Etor's long movie would have been fitting yeah. for this book adaptation and yeah i thought there was some, some sort of guide you know guide we're walking us through her steps and most of the things she was in she was very reckless and most of the things were just so fitting like okay you're just going to tell me that you came to see movies with your friends and you just they just left you to go around one down to, and get to their father's see, computer this saying, like in the book now these people are very close they, they had a relationship these two yes. families the relationship there that she even stays in yeah. their house so there's trust there but in the series 
you don't see these things There's, you don't really feel just like oh just a lot of talking friends. talking talking i do not enjoy this series i think there'll be a second season definitely because it's a trilogy so yeah. i don't know if i'm going to dedicate my time to read the book i don't think so however maybe there'll be a new case for her because they're not living in town she and ravi are not living in town anytime soon so let's see what other adventure she could have because i think people like this series even despite our reservations yeah i think people like it. i think the only people who do not like i could have read the book and i'm like okay if they're going to do a second season i hope that they do better with the series or with the material they already have i hope they do better i, I know that the book is already written but i just wish that like, someone else not peep it can just be another good girl and that would have been nice but anyway i'll give it a two out of five it was not a good binge it's just merciful it was six episodes long but i wish it was two hours long anyway i'll give it two out of five as well if you have seen a good girl's guide to murder please tell us your thoughts in the comments yes. and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel goodbye